Okay, you guys, I have to plead with you. You have to know your medications. In this week's episode, I am asking you, please, 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 make a list of your medications. It will help you, it will help your family, it will help your pharmacist. Okay, so I've been working a stretch of medication history shifts at the hospital, which means I go around and talk to people who either were just admitted or who are in the ER and going to be admitted, and I ask them, what medications are you taking at home? Because your doctor needs to know that, your pharmacist needs to know that. Like, we want to know what medications you've been taking at home. One, so if you're on important medications, you can keep on taking those same ones and those same doses that are working for you. Two, if you need some kind of new medication, we need to know what you were taking before so we know if there's any kind of interactions or things that need to be adjusted. Three, let's say you're in the ER for a certain reason, like low blood pressure and we find out you were taking like five blood pressure meds or you were taking a higher dose than you were supposed to something like that we want to know about that or what if you come in with an allergic reaction and it's because you just started a new medication like so your providers want to know what you're taking but like for you you should be responsible for your health. You should feel, I don't know, the responsibility, like you should want to be accountable to know what medications you are on. Um, and I just, I just don't know. I don't know how to explain. Like, it makes me sad, honestly, how many people I go talk to and they're like, oh, I don't know anything I take. Or, uh, you know, the unthinkable happens, you're, you're in the ICU, you're hooked up to a ventilator, you can't tell me anything, and I ask your family, and they're like, mm, I don't know, oh, maybe, like, here's a handful of bottles that were in your cabinet, like, okay, like, maybe I can call your pharmacy and figure out what you were taking, but, you know, there are medications, like, Aspirin a lot of times is something that's taken over the counter. Harper medications, blood or allergy medications, like it's a lot of over the counter things. So please, please, one thing that you could do that would be so helpful for yourself to keep track and for your family would be to make a list of your medications. And oh, it just makes me so happy when people bring a list of their medications, not just what's printed out at your clinic, because unfortunately, I have experienced it too many times where people say, oh yeah, this list from the clinic is exactly right, and then I actually go through it with them, and they're like, oh no, I'm not on that anymore, oh no, this has been changed, like, unfortunately, sometimes those lists at the clinic do not get updated. Ooh, I'm sorry to tell you, but you need to keep your own list of your medications and you need to be responsible for it and you need to keep it updated. And so from your friendly pharmacist here, um, this would be the most helpful things that would be on your list. So it would be your name and birthday, just to make sure that we know it's your list. Uh, if you wanna put when it was last updated, that's always helpful too. Uh, helpful for your family if they just find your medication list um, but then the name of the medication the strength which means the milligrams and then how you're taking it is it one tablet is it half a tablet and how many times a day and it's super helpful if you even write out like morning or night like what time of day you take it so and you can get you know the name and milligrams right from the bottle um and then you know how you're taking it so write that out type it out put it on a list um any medication allergies you have that we should know about that's a good thing to write down to put that on there too the name of your pharmacy that you use that would be very helpful um 
I am going to put together and hopefully I will have a link um, in here in the description here, but I'm going to put together a template that you could use if that would be helpful for you of an ideal medication list. And like I say, I think it's most ideal if you can put the time of day too, because that's a lot of the thing that I'm that we're wondering when you come in the hospital like did you already get your medications this morning are there things that you need or especially if you're on something like for parkinson's or seizures where you take things at a certain time of day like we really really want to know that but <coughs> excuse me i just cannot encourage you enough like take ownership of your health be your own advocate and be knowledgeable and then okay and then when you have this list keep it with you like fold it up and put it in your wallet put it in your purse tell your family where it is make a few copies like put one in your purse and one in in your medicine drawer with your medicines or in your you know junk drawer full of important papers or wherever your family will know to look for it if in case you know some emergency happens um but yeah medication list it's super important and it would be awesome if you could do that all right guys that's all i got for you this week i'm emily i am founder of emilyrunsonpassion.com you can go there to get some tips and tricks on uh you know living the life that god called you to um just how to be the best version of yourself in terms of your career or faith or health and fitness like those are the things that I'm passionate about and I just want I'm just trying to live the best life and the life that I feel like God is calling me to and I want to encourage you to do the same so feel free to reach out to me there I have a little blog there mostly just a space to keep on writing um, find me on Facebook, Emily Kirkwald, or on Instagram, Emily Runs on Passion, or I will see you here next week.